Beautiful. Welcome to all who have gathered here at St. Michael's to celebrate the fourth Sunday of Advent. Please stand as you are able and introduce yourself to somebody next to you as we begin our Mass. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace Amen. of Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to celebrate these mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, every Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brother and sister, to pray for me to our, our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord. You grace into our hearts that we, who the incarnation of Christ your Son, was made known by the message of the angels, may be his passion and cross be brought to the glory of the resurrection, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading this fourth Sunday evening of Advent is a reading uh, from the book of the prophet Micah. Thus says the Lord, you Bethlehem, Ephrathath, too small to be among the clans of Judah. From you shall come forth for me, one who is the ruler in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient times. 
Therefore, the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his kindred shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord his God, and they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading this evening is a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated 
to the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks. with you and with your spirit are reading from the holy gospel according to luke mary set up and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of judas where she entered the house of zechariah and greeted elizabeth when elizabeth heard mary's greeting the infant leaped in her womb and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit in your womb. And how does it happen to me that the mother, mother of my Lord, should come to me? For at that moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped up for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Advent. It is the last Sunday and Advent to prepare our heart and our soul. We know that Jesus Christ is coming and we have hope in his salvation. The hope is the last thing that we can to lose in the hard moment in our life. When we feel in despair, Jesus Christ coming to help us like a shepherd take care from his lambs. We repeat in the psalm, Lord, make us turn to you, let us see your face, and we shall be saved. And the psalm says, O shepherd of Israel, hurricane, from your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth, rose your power, and come to save us. It's good to know that Jesus Christ is coming to save us. In today's gospel, Mary goes to the Elizabeth to help her. And Elizabeth responds to, Mary, to the Mary's greeting, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit in your womb. We repeat many times this prayer when we pray the rosary, we Say, Holy Mary, full of grace, and repeat and repeat. Why we must to repeat? Because we must to 
take in mind our history of salvation. It's the Bible. It's the word of God. When we repeat in the rosary that prayer. This Sunday is the Sunday of hope. Please, never lose the hope in Jesus Christ, in your family, or in your friends. It's a good advice. Never lose the hope. It's time to prepare the gift, the best gift for the best people. How do you choose who is the best people? The best father, the best mother, or the best friends who know them. When you say you are the best, sometimes lie. Sometimes you have never say about. But who, how do you know that people is the best? When you say, I did my best, I don't know, it's real or it's true. Sometimes we need to recognize who is the best in our life. Oh, I am the best? This is a good question for us today. I had a little history. A little boy, like six years old, he says to the father, Father, I will give you the gift, my best. And the father said, good luck. Your little boy gave me the best. Okay, good luck for that. And the little boy ran, go to the room and search and search. And the mother and saw him far away. And the little boy find to save money, like a pig in glasses, very precious crystal. And the mother saw when the little boy said, no, the little boy, crack, crack. <laughs> Broke up, the mother, I, I would die, I would not know. Why the little boy broke it up and search? He find two dollars. And he gave to his mother, mother, one dollar for the stand and one dollar for the page, you know, page, the paper. Well, the mother is scared, but she gets for that. And the little boy started to write the letter. Dear Sina, dear Santa Claus, dear Jesus Christ, our little child, Jesus Christ, okay. I, and a little boy, six years old, I want to ask, I'm sorry, I, I wrote Guana with W, is W or G, W, Guana, well, Guana, I want, I want to ask you for my father, oh no, erase, I wish, to my father, faith, passion, and love. Three things. And the little boy signed it and sent it to Santa Claus. In the Christmas Eve, the little boy go to the space for the gift. In your home, sometimes it's very wild space for God because we waiting for the biggest bucket or gift and the little boy sat down and his father saw and waiting and waiting a time a time and the father approached him and he said to the little boy you know last night I got a dream and the little boy okay I had a dream the angels says to me, I will you, I will be to you faith, passion, and love. And the father said to the little boy, Okay, truth gift, I will tell you, I am faith in you, little boy. I try to be patient with you, little boy. And I assure you, I will love you 
always little boy. And the little boy says, I got you. <laughs> well, it's a gift for his father. And the little boy say, thank you, Santa Claus. What do you want for your parents in this time? Or what do you wish for them? In this time, we will repeat many times, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry, a Merry Christmas. We will repeat a lot at once. It's a wish. What is the wish in this time for you and for your family? Let us open our hearts to receive our Savior, Jesus Christ, who's coming for to us every day and forever. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, the all things visible and invisible. I believe in our Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God and the true God, begotten and not made, consistential with the Father, through being all made what you made. For us, men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake was crucified and pacified. He suffered death and glory, and rose again on the first day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to the heaven, and is seated in the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will now end. I believe in Holy Spirit, the Lord of the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy and Catholic apostolic church. I confess the baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our petition to God. For the church, that all who long for Christ's coming might experience the joy of his presence this Christmas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of peace in the world, especially where there is violence and unrest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the lonely, and the neglected, they will experience God's love during this joyful season through the kindness of others. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of travelers and unity and families as we gather to celebrate Christ's birth, together we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all women who are pregnant and afraid, that is, Mary helped Elizabeth. May we help them care for their unborn children. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the victims in the storms of Kentucky, for those who died, might rest in the peace of Christ, and that the survivors might receive the help and the healing which they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Peter and Christine Hemish, for whom this Mass is offered, and Marcella Junger, who passed away recently, and for all those who have died, that they may share the fullness of risen life with Christ and all the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our individual intentions now, which we now offer to God in silent prayer,
for these needs and for those who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, listen our petition in the name of the Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify this gift laid upon your love, Arthur, just as a heel filled with his power a womb of the blessed. Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give them to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always saying we were to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles, all the prophets, for us told him, the Virgin Mother longer for him, with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist, son of the coming, and proclaim his presence when he can. It is by the that his gift that already we rejoice on the mysteries of our nativity, so that he might find us watchful, watchful in prayer, and exultant in his prayers. And so with the angels and archangels, 
with throne and dominions, and with the whole the host of power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon thy life to before, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the time he was betrayed and entering willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave it to him, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be giving up for you. In a similar way, when the supper is ended, he took the chalice, and one more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is chalice in my blood, the blood of the non eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Lord, me steal your faith. As we celebrate the memorial of this death and resurrection, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister through you, humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered unto one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope and Dana, our Bishop and their clergy, remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and within and in him, O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command, and for me, divine teacher, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace us to grant peace in our days, that by help us of your mercy, we may be all free from sins and safe for all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of the Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who says to our apostle, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not our sins, but to the faith of your church, and grace us only. Grant her peace, unity, in accordance with you will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other in a signs of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, he who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy to enter tomorrow, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having received this pledge of the eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy to celebrate in celebration of the merged mysteries of your son's nativity, who live and reign with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Just a few quick announcements before we conclude our celebration. First of all, we wanted to mention that today's Mass was uh, for the repose of the soul of Sylvester Cantor, and I know his, his wife and family are here today, loving him from, from uh, earth to heaven during the special holiday time. It's the last chance to purchase raffle tickets in support of St. Joseph's Church. Please help us reach our goal. Susie and Claire will be selling tickets in the gathering space. Following mass, tickets are $10 a piece. You can come join us at the St. Joseph's Church for the raffle drawing uh, tomorrow, Monday, December 20th at 7 p.m. And masses for the celebration of Christmas will be as follows, Christmas Eve, 4 p.m. at St. Michael's. Make some mental notes of these if you don't mind. 4 p.m. at St. Joseph's. 4.30 p.m. at St. Peter's. 10 p.m. at St. Paul's. St. Joseph's Latin Mass will actually be at midnight. Never seem to have midnight Mass at midnight, but that's kind of cool. Christmas Day, 8 a.m. at St. Michael. 8.15 at St. Peter's. 9 a.m. at St. Joseph. 9.30 a.m. at St. Paul's. And 11 a.m. Spanish Mass will be at St. Joseph. There will be no 4.30 Mass on Saturday, December 25th, Christmas Day. Instead, we'll have an 8 a.m. Mass here at St. Michael's on Sunday, December 26th, along with our other regular scheduled Mass for the weekend. Have a great evening and drive safe. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God in peace. Thanks be to God. I wish to you Merry Christmas. Beautiful.